Alright guys, I'm going to be showing you how to do some like wiggle, screen wiggle effects. Someone asked me how to do it and they showed, or how to do it as in a video that they showed me and I'm going to show you how to do it and yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's a few things you may or may not need to know. I'm also going to try to simplify the uh, shortcuts I use because Someone told me they didn't get much out of the tutorial because I use a lot of shortcuts and I apologize for that. So here is one way how you can do it. It's very subtle the, that way is. If you see it's like that one is using a slider control and a null with a null object and expression controls. Alright, this one is much different. That one is the one I prefer to do, but either way, you choose you choose your own way, your style, your editing, everything. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is delete everything alright get your clip in then sync the song to the sounds Twister Pro is useless for this clip I apologize alright and uh... lock these markers here set some up like that to the beats of the sound or <laughs> to the beats of the song oh gosh I'm sorry um now what you want to do is right click new null object and right click on that effect expression controls slider control bam alright what I'm gonna do alright if you hold shift and drag it you can drag it it'll snap to your keyframes or to like the ending or beginning of your clip so we're gonna go to this first keyframe here after uh, my computer stops being stupid alright there alright go one ahead and keyframe slider then click on your null object and uh, then hit the key U and it brings up your keyframes and we're going to go and click slider and click F9 but because I'm using Camtasia I can't click F9 F9 is easy ease these are makes your makes it smoother so now go forward one frame and boost this up to like 20 and shift page down goes forward 10 frames do that three times four times and set it to zero then click slider copy go to the next keyframe go back one keyframe or one frame my bad and then paste and repeat go back one Control V, paste. Alright. Now, here's where things get tricky, confusing, whatever. Uh, you want to Alt click the Alt key, Alt click on Option, and you want to type in here Wiggle, open parentheses, 5, comma, close parentheses, and then you want to put the cursor which is this little thing right here that's blinking I'm going to put that in between the comma and the end bracket grab this little pick whip here and drag it to slider from slider control and then click and there you go now when you do this you want also you also want to make push scale to bring up your scale here push S for scale sorry um, and 
boost the scale up some. I like 103 because it's about right when you do wiggles and stuff like that. And now it'll have this wiggling effect. I don't know if you can tell it here. Let me, I'll pre render this again. Sorry, this is taking so long. It's probably because I have a color correction on it, which is, which is useless. I don't know if y'all could see that or not, but I'm going to do this again. All right. That's, that's really pathetic. Kind of, you might want to boost this, your slider control up, or this right here. Bring this up some. But... We're going to go ahead and continue with this. Uh, that's one way to do it. And here is my favorite way to do it. This is using Twitch. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So, delete, delete, pointless. So I'm going to delete that too. All right, now after you've got your keyframe set up where the beat starts, you want to select and drag the time cursor I don't, I don't know what that's called time ruler time indicator whatever you want to drag this stupid thing to this keyframe or any keyframe I don't know why I said that you want to apply twitch you can apply this to an adjustment layer but then it affects all clips this is a external plugin so you cannot you don't have this then you will have to find a way to get it alright what you want to do is when you get to that keyframe go back one frame and click these stopwatches and go to slide and enable that and it does that cool looking thing right there now we're going to bring this down to about nine and eight Let's come down here and click on our clip U, bring up our keyframes. Now, I have a preset for this that I downloaded that I like to use, but I'm going to try to show you how to do this without me using that. So, you want to keep go down to operation controls, slide, slide time, or slide twitches per second. Click on that should show up down here if you push you again two times then go forward a frame I messed up but anyways just drag these forward go to those and go one frame back go to amount zero because you don't want any until it hits and go forward and boost this up quite a bit and this up maybe 15 yeah actually you don't don't boost this one go forward another frame Add a keyframe really high up here, like 150 something. And here, add another uh, time keyframe, I believe. Speed keyframes bring this up. Oh my goodness, that was a lot. Okay, really slow. And bring this up quite a bit. And you want to go to this frame, shift page down, and do it three times. Okay. About six times. So go 60 frames forward with shift page down. And set these at zero. 
zero, zero. I've really overdone that there. I think it's this, no. This is at 154, this at 20. Dear God, 10. Okay, not 10. All right, anyways, I'm going to put the uh, preset in here because I don't normally do that with keyframes by myself. But go here. It's called ES Twitch. I'll put this in the description. You can just drag that on there. Go backwards the keyframe and zero on the amount. And then you just copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. Now... I'm going to show you guys a few keyboard shortcuts just to uh, help you guys out. With one keyboard shortcut is Alt beginning bracket, which cuts the clip off, as you can tell down here. It like brings the beginning of it down, kind of like a trim, I guess. Or you can here. Control Z is to take it back. Or you can Alt in bracket and it does the opposite. Now, beginning bracket without Alt brings the beginning of the clip to the cursor and end bracket brings the end. Hold on just a second. I gotta sneeze. Oh man, sorry about that. Okay, another one would be, uh, like to kick on your, your keyframes here. Oops. And pushing F9, which I can't do, but it makes it smoother. And let's see what else is there. I have a lot. Uh, I, I just learned some new ones, like. Control Alt and the mouse wheel will make it where you can like zoom you can zoom in wherever you have the mouse located at kinda if you can tell what I'm doing here. Say if I want to zoom in right there I zoom in there and if I want to zoom in here I can zoom in there or zoom back in here and so forth. And uh, control shift. Forgot what either of those did. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Let me uh, zoom in here. Control shift makes it where you can uh, go side to side. Like so. Let's see. Let me think of some other ones. Uh, for clicking, like for things on your uh, clip. There's P for position, scale is S, and opacity, strangely, is T. Uh, let's see, rotation is R. So, position, scale, rotation, and opacity. Um, L is your audio levels, and if you double tap L, you get the waveform, which I don't have here, but I have it here. And... Let me think of another one. Uh, control Shift D will split the layer, but I can't do that because of Camtasia. Um, control D will duplicate it. My computer's being slow again. It will duplicate the layer. Control D. There's a Control X is cut. Control Z. Is undo. Um, control C is copy, and Control V is paste. Let me think here. Um, to apply markers down like that, like I got here, you can click on the layer, 
and on the number pad to the right of your keyboard if you have one you push the asterisk and it lays a keyframe and that's I think that's all that I know if there's not and I confuse you in a video let me know and I will make sure that you know that key that shortcut so I'll, I'll help you if you help me help you so that was the screen wiggle effect tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it maybe maybe it helped you out maybe it didn't next tutorial will be flares and after that will be whatever you guys want to ask me I don't think I've done one over cinematics yet but I will if you want me to but that's if you want me to so uh thank you guys and I will see you later